in. Friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Gamecocks will kick it off to get us underway. Coming out with it, it's Bell. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. A first down for the offense. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Really want to try to pick up at least half of the yardage needed on first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. Not a lot of daylight, he gets one to the 32. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. Running back goes in motion. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised Number if this nine. offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep kills. Georgia sends out the punt team. Looks as if they might have a little something going on that drive, but they'll have to kick it. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Leaves it with the running back. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. Here's the handoff. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Sellers. Gets it out quickly. Tackled, but he has a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. The Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. 
Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Forced out of the pocket. Fires a bullet. Oh, it's picked off. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already got the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Looking to throw on second down. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. An explosive play takes them right outside the red zone and they've got it first and 10. Out of the gun to give to the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Back to throw, it's Beck. Moving out of the pocket. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking down the middle. Delivers the contact. Touchdown, dogs! A great catch and run for six. Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They're in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Brown. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. He's got his man. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. To the ground with the back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. 
I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the shotgun on third down. Gets it to the back. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Excellent situational awareness to make the grab and get just enough of that first down. And how about the play call? They didn't want to hold on to the football. They wanted to get that thing out of their hand, trust the receiver to make the catch, and then what does he do? Gets the first down, gets out of bounds. New set of downs for this offense. They'll run the screen. Nice move to keep moving. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Well, you've seen the last two plays now. This guy's versatility. You've seen why he might be playing on Sundays in the not-too-distant future. This guy can catch the ball. He's a big part of their passing game, and he's a weapon, and a guy this defense has got to be ready for. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They're working that left side. Finds a crease at the 20. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, South Carolina. Lining up to add another. Oh, they block it. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Back to pass. It's back. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Georgia going up tempo. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Trying to find his man on first down. He unleashes a long one. And he makes the catch inside the 25. What a play to get it inside the red zone. And they are set up at the 17. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He wants it all. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 14-6. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Fair catch, called for and made. A full field of defensive backs trying to take away 
with the deep ball. Back to pass, it's Sellers. Picked off! Tell you what, defensive players don't always see where the ball is. They see the receiver and they get to chase him. But really good job seeing where the receiver is, going and making an interception, making a big play, getting the ball back to your offense. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Got a man. It's Etienne. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Here comes the field goal unit. This try will come from the left hash, and he'll try to curl it in from 38. Splits the uprights. Good. And now the lead is extended a little farther. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Handoff to the lone back. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Georgia will kick it deep to start the second half. The kickoff bounces through the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 25. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coach... And it's picked off for the third time today. What a nice play. 